I'm Jason Donaldson. I'm uh, an assistant professor at Washington University in St. Louis. I'm presenting a paper here that's joint work with Ava McKayla from the LSE in the law department. I do theory, so I usually try to define systemic risk within the model. So broadly, I mean, we think that it's ge risk generated within a system, and in our case, generated within the financial system. And then in the model that I presented today, it's sort of risk that comes from banks being exposed to each other. When one bank defaults, it is a shock to the balance sheet of another bank and that leads that second bank to default potentially. So it's a shock to the sort of this initial shock to fundamentals, creates a new default, even though the sort of fundamentals uh, of that second bank that defaults in the, the intermediating bank are not really exposed to the fundamental risks. We can always avoid cascades by having everybody sort of exist in isolation or having no lending. Um, the question really is, should, to what extent should we inhibit lending and what is the trade-off between growth and sort of we really believe, we believe in debt, right? We think debt is a great thing, but it also can cause, cause sort of unwanted risks. So one area that I think is really important for research going forward is what it means to own an asset and to hold custody of an asset. And there are several, really four big custodians in the world, and these are the guys who sort of hold the assets for safekeeping. It's like they're effectively safes. And these safes are holding all the assets, but we don't, I don't think, really understand economically the role of custodians very well. And for me, these are the really systemically important institutions. And if one of them goes uh, bankrupt, I have no idea what's going to happen. I'd like to sort of have some sense, at least, of what would happen.